Bill trying to help somebody uh, with a writing a click track. <clears throat> I think that's what he's trying to do in Logic Express 9. So go to Logic Express 9, click on it. No. <clears throat> Sorry it's taking so long. Give me a minute. Come on. A little bit faster. <clears throat> Alright. I'm going to go to new. Close that one. Save it. Empty project. Software instrument. Create. Okay, I'm going to start out in 4 4 time. 120 beats per minute. Um, and I think this guy wants to change tempos in the middle of the song or something. So, well. It automatically defaults to electric piano. I'm going to go over to drums and percussion because I don't know if he has a superior drummer. So we just go to acoustic drum kits. Um, rock drum kit. That's good. <clears throat> Alright, so it came up here. And I'm going to control, right click, create empty MIDI region, left click. There you go. Now it's there. And this will create the empty MIDI region wherever the line is, the play bar, or whatever you want to call it. Um, piano roll, click on that. That's a left click. Pull this up. Go to the drawing tool, or the pencil tool. And uh, let's say we want to loop this, we'll just click right here, and that will loop all the way out to there. Um, we just want to do one measure for the sake of time um, and then I'm gonna go to velocity because I want my stuff to be heard I think 96 is the highest you can go um, that makes the velocity of the bait of the drum beat louder uh, there's the bass drum now we're gonna draw one two three four Eight. And then we'll just do a snare. I think this one's. There's the snare. We'll just do two and four. <coughs> and if you want a hi hat, uh, I don't even know where it is on this drum set, but it's somewhere in here. We'll just use that because it's a, a good high, high sound. This should cut through anything that you're listening to. Okay. Then press play. There you got a click track. Okay. <clears throat> we'll go back to... That was a score thing. You go back to piano roll. Um, then, uh, say you want to bring in... You want the next one. You want to start there. Okay, now... You want to change the tempo right there, so you go to, you got to make sure your line's in the right spot. And then we'll do, I'm pretty sure that this works, I've never actually done it. Um, let's see, we'll just say 140. Enter. Mm. Nope, it doesn't work that way. <clears throat> okay. Um, well, the other thing you can do is if you want to slow down the next one and you want to do half time, uh, let's see. <clears throat> Change that to uh, two. Enter. So then that should make your next measure 
slower. <clears throat> and if you're not real familiar with music, it might be hard. So if you want to draw another one, you don't have to do another MIDI measure there. You can just uh, start like this. Or you can draw your 4-4 four, four time uh, slower. I have no clue what this is going to sound like, but this is how the guys like Mashuga and stuff write their music. And then he wanted to mix it down to MP3, so you go up to File, and we only have two measures, so you go to bounce if you want it if you want to drive or bring it out further you can but we can do start at one end at three and then you hit bounce and that'll do it um, and that's it all right hope this helps later